Hi and welcome to Rose Red Homestead. We are so glad that you could join us today. As you all know, our channel focuses on self-reliance, food security, and emergency preparedness. And a week ago, we made a video on uh, burritos in a jar. It was a dry mix. And in that dry mix, I used some dehydrated Rotel tomatoes. And Rotel tomatoes are right here. And we asked, that if people wanted a video on how to dehydrate or freeze dry Rotel tomatoes to let us know in the comments. Wow, we had an overwhelming response in the positive. And so lots and lots of people have requested this video. And so you got it. And here we go. We'll get started in just a moment. The first thing I want to do is to read you the ingredients on the back of this can. So many people ask, what are Rotel tomatoes? I sort of grew up with these, I think. I absolutely love the flavor. I've tried a couple of times to duplicate it and I can't quite get it, but maybe you can. So here are the ingredients. Tomatoes, water, chopped green chili peppers, less than 2% of the following, salt, calcium chloride, natural flavor, citric acid, cilantro. And that's all there is to it. But it has a unique taste, and there are lots of us that just love that taste. And so it can be freeze-dried and dehydrated. So here we go. I've opened four cans, so we'll see how they do. It would be best, if you're going to do this, that you have the insert trays for fruit leather uh, for your dehydrator that has a little bit of lip on the edge so it will hold liquids it will be difficult to get them dry dehydrated and removed from the trays unless you have these little plastic inserts i think that they make them in silicone as well and most dehydrators allow you to purchase those as a separate purchase so i use the entire can i just dump it right in the middle and it is both liquid and chunky and so I'm going to just spread those chunks out. I would like them in kind of a, almost a single layer. And it's going to take a second can. I only have three of these plastic trays, so I can only do three layer. I can only do three trays. That's all there is to it. I just spread this out like this, and then these will go into the dehydrator. Now, the other day, I guess a day and a half ago, I prepared one tray to go into the freeze dryer along with three trays of green chilies. And those are still out in the freeze dryer right now. So once the dehydrating is done and the freeze drying is done, we will bring you back so we can compare the difference between the dehydrated and the freeze dried to sort of see what we like and whether or not we're going to powder it. So I'm going to finish off camera and we will be back when everything is done. I have three freeze dryer trays right here already done of uh, green chilies that I'm going to put out there. I only want one of a Rotel because I want to see how it does. I really like how it dehydrates. I'm not sure how it is going to freeze dry, so we will see. Now this is what Rotel looks like. And so I'm just going to dump the whole can in here. And it's probably going to take about four cans. And I'm doing juice and all, just like I'm going to do with the dehydrator trays. Okay. 
we have about the same viscosity here as we do here so it won't hurt at all to have these two different things in the freeze dryer so we're going to go put these in the regular freezer freeze them overnight we'll put them in the freeze dryer tomorrow and we will be back in a couple of days with the results of freeze-dried rotel so we can see how it does and i'm looking forward to this because i have not freeze-dried it yet so we'll see you soon the dehydrating and the freeze drying of the Rotel tomatoes are finished. Who knew that these little tomatoes in this can could look so different, dried with dehydrator and dried with the freeze dryer. Amazing, amazing. So we're going to first of all deal with the dehydrated ones. <clears throat> now notice, remember I dumped the entire jar in the liquid and all, and so here's a bit of the liquid that's right here all throughout. I want all of that into the jar. So first I'm going to try to loosen these just a little bit and they're not loosening much. So we're going to scrape these off with my bench scraper. And they come off in giant flakes. And these are actually just perfect for uh, what we use them for. Remember I used these in the burritos in a jar mix. I would not want to turn these into powder because I like the chunks, so I'm not going to demonstrate powder. If you would like to turn them into powder, we have a number of videos that show how that is done and most of you know how to do that anyway. So please feel free to do it how you would like best to use it. I'm very excited about this. This will be so nice to have on hand to add just a pinch of heat. These tomatoes and green chilies together, very nice. All right, I'm gonna finish this off camera and we're going to now take a look at the freeze dry. Now, right away you're going to notice that this is not a freeze dry tray. And that is because when we brought it in from the freeze dryer, it was tacky. We wondered if there was sugar in the ingredients because it was sticky. I reread the ingredients and it is not. But nevertheless, I needed to put this in my dehydrator to re-dry it again. And you might notice that there is some whitish spider webbing right here. Our best guess is that this is the calcium chloride that's kind of risen to the top and it won't hurt a thing. It is very salty in taste and that's part of the taste of the Rotel. So I'm just going to leave it in place as I put it in this jar because I do want to keep it in pieces about this size to just toss into various recipes. So this will be an easy thing to put into these jars. So we'll come back when we've got everything in jars and you can see the finished products. So we finished up with two quarts of the freeze dried and two pints of the dehydrated, all from 10 cans of Rotel, not too bad. These will have a shelf life for two, three years easy and uh, I will vacuum seal these and they should be shelf stable for a really long time. It gives us such variety to add to our recipes. So hope you enjoyed this and thanks for voting on our poll that you wanted to see this one first. So here you go, it will be published first. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time, bye bye.